Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have a exciting makeup item to show you. Well, a few of them. It is from none other than the mother, Pat McGrath. And I have three of her new blushes, which is called the Divine Blush Collection. But if you're new here, hey, Nice to meet you. Thanks for clicking on this video. My name is Nisi. I make videos on unboxing from luxury to high street, low street, beauty reviews, and I hope to do some lifestyle and I might get into some hair. So if you're interested in any of that content, hit the subscribe button. I would love to engage with you. So please comment in the comment section down below. If you picked up any of these blushes or anything from her latest launch, let me know what you got. And let me know if you are enjoying the item. What I'm gonna do is do some swatches. I'm also gonna do some comparisons. And I have basically my cheeks are clean. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swatch two of the blushes and I will do some comparisons on my hand and let you know those names as well. All right, so first things first. Wait. Okay. So this is a lovely packaging. And so if you know anything about Pat McGrath, you know she always brings the packaging, her stuff, the the artwork on the package is always divine. She does have the name on the box. And so this one is Paradise Venus. All right. So this is what it looks like. Hey, self. <laughs> and so as you can see, it's so glossy. You can see yourself in the reflection. So it just says Pat McGrath Labs. And what I do like is that now she puts the name of the item on the back of the packaging. So previous packaging, that was not the case, but I am glad to see that she's made the change. So let's just kind of open this. Auntie Pat, you made this burglar proof. <laughs> get in. What is going on? Okay, let's see. Um, all right, a little bit of blooper. Oh, God. oh, so don't be like me. So this is a, I'm going to cover the mirror, but you got to press this little thing here and press it in really good and it will, you know, release. And so this is basically their terracotta. So it's a demi matte. Isn't she beautiful? So I'm just going to show it to you. Um, no, she's coming up later on the camera. I'm just going to show them to you and then I'm going to go ahead and do the swatches. So I got the Thrio. When Auntie Pat normally does releases, she gives you the option to get it in sets, singles. These blushes retail for $38 for one. The set that I got was called Fu Futuristic Flora, and the set of three was $96. So this one, as you can see, is a pink, and so the pink one is called Love Struck. Yeah. And as you can see, you have the raised flower inside of the, pat on the blush, and it's just beautiful. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give away one of the blushes. It would not be the one that I swatched because I do want you to see what it looks like, especially the ladies of deeper complexion. So for reference, I am a MAC NW50 and I can go down depending on the weather. I do live in the US Virgin Islands, so predominantly, you know, I have warm weather all year round. I'm at the beach. I'm in the sun. Um, my complexion fluctuates a lot and then the last of the trio is this one and it is called electric bloom it's coming up a little bit 
pinkish but it's really a vivid coral so it's described as a demi matte i don't know if this makes i think you can see it a little bit better so these are two let me get three so you can see what they look like so this is the terracotta on this side in the middle is the electric bloom it's coming up a little bit more pinkish and then this one over here is love struck all right so i have some nice clean brushes and the first one so this is my wing gloss brush um, i forgot what this is called this is so pretty i didn't even take a picture Anyhow, I should have take a picture first, but I'm going to be nice and gentle. I am more than likely going to have to go a little bit heavier because I want to make sure it picks up on camera. Can you see that? So that one again was Paradise Venus. And this one gives you more of a neutral tone. So this one kind of reminds me of like, now that it's on, not so much, but I kind of thought of Amber Rose from MAC. So that's gonna be one of the comparisons that I do. And what I will do is, Cause I'm crazy and I'm not really going anywhere. I'm gonna just try two on my face and then you could tell me which one you like more, okay? And next up, I'm gonna use another clean brush and this is the Sonia G and this is the Designer Pro. If you're into brushes like I am, let me know. I would love to get and do a video of my favorite makeup brushes. So traditionally, I do um, like bronzer, contour, then my highlight, and then I do blush, but I'm kind of doing it in reverse. I'm going to go a smidge bit heavier because I want to make sure you guys can see this. I mean, I can see it. So... I mean, I don't normally wear my stuff heavy. Alright. I'm gonna go back in with that coral again. Okay. I'm going to add some highlight and so my trusted highlight that was from years ago <laughs> this is a shaft of gold the extra dimension highlighter from MAC this is a desert island if I had to be in a desert and I had to walk with something yeah this would be with me brush is the MAC 317 this is a natural hair brush I haven't really been loving MAC's brushes since they switched to synthetic um, personal preference but yeah to each its own alright guys so 
you have what was this called again so this was terracotta with paradise venus sorry and then on this side you have um electric room which is described as a vivid coral so nothing too crazy I'm gonna go a smidge bit more. And again, this is a little bit, might be a little bit heavier than I normally would wear it, but I wanna make sure it shows up on camera. So this is really beautiful. All right, so I'm gonna head into, actually I can do it this way. Right. So let's get some arm swatches going. And what I will do is, the pink um so the pink again was called love struck and you know what i'm so happy that um so love struck is to the top isn't that just gorgeous and then i do have some matte comparisons and the first one will be fever And so I did like, I mean, I swirled my finger in it, but I did like one swatch and look how pigmented that Pat McGrath one was. So Fever is beautiful too, but it's clearly darker. And then the next one I'm going to use for comparison is MAC Stubborn. I love MAC products, so I have a lot of MAC comparisons. And so Stubborn, I'm going to do a next swatch just to make it a little bit heavier. So honestly, the they don't actually match up, yeah. But they are gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Okay. Um, I do have a comparison for the coral, and to be honest, looking at them now, like this one is a lot deeper. But let's see how they show up on the hand, right? So first. I'm going to do the Pat McGrath. And then next, I'm going to do the matte comparison. And this is Adobe Brick. And this was from one of those matte special release condition collections. Sorry. So that one is a little bit more similar, but not exactly. So, Pat McGrath again, this is a coral, which was called Electric Bloom. Up to the top we have Mac, sorry, not Mac, Pat McGrath Love Struck. And then on this one, what I'll do is I'll do the comparisons between Divine the Divine Blush in Paradise Venus against Sweet as Coco and Ambering Rose because that kind of brought back memories to me. And honestly, um, what is this? Burnt Pepper by MAC is kind of giving me the same vibe. So let's check it out. All right. So, I mean, I'm so glad because like I said, I didn't take pictures, but the... So I'm gonna just do one more. So this is a nice neutral. I can definitely see um, ladies or whoever of a lighter complexion using this even for, I don't know, to kind of bronze up their face, depending on how light their complexion is. Um, a little out of reach. So let's try, I'm actually gonna try the matte first and that's Burnt Pepper by MAC. So these next brushes are MAC only, okay? So this is Burnt Pepper. I'm gonna do a second swatch. Yeah, it's really blending in there. Burnt Pepper by MAC. 
Next, I will do Ambery Rose. just blended like right into my skin which is good if you don't want too much of a look right you want to be more natural so again this one to the top is a Pat McGrath and that is a terracotta paradise Venus described as a demi matte we have burnt pepper amber and rose and sweet as cocoa so nothing really compared exactly to the Pat McGrath. And honestly, that's a good thing. Because sometimes you buy makeup and we have a lot of things that are wrong. Basically held it the same. Just a different brand. But we love them as we support them. The finish and stuff might be a little bit different. You know, if it's a satin, it's a matte, it's a shimmery, vice versa. So... I'm so glad to be able to bring these to you. Let me know if you got anything. What I'm going to do is on the screen on the side, I'm going to just kind of show you some of the sets that are available. I really am um, debating getting that quad, the eyeshadow quad. I didn't buy it then. I was trying to be good because I really don't need more makeup. But I think I'm going to go back and get that. And I'm not sure about the highlighter. But if you got anything, let me know. Do you, which side is your favorite? Favorite? Do you like this coral look on this side? Or do you like the terracotta, which looks more natural? I think I definitely, I like to kind of have a more natural look. So definitely the terracotta, I can see it being in heavy rotation. If you like my makeup look today, I'm going to do a little thing. Um, let me know. I did use my powder foundation technique. So this is not liquid. I'm a little shiny, but I do have oily skin. And again, I do live in a warm climate year round. So the struggle is real to stay matte. But if you're interested in this look, let me know down below. If you would like to have the chance to win, um, which one do I want to do? to win one of the blushes by Pat McGrath. Let me know in the comment section that you're interested. You have to follow me on YouTube. I'm gonna put my Instagram handle. And so if you follow me on YouTube, leave me a comment saying that you're interested. Follow me on Instagram. Also stating that you're interested so you can have two entries into the giveaway. What I'm going to do is take a picture of the item that would be up for the giveaway on my Instagram. So follow me on Instagram. It will be also in my handle and I will put it up on the screen. Until next time, take care, be safe, be blessed. Bye.